All right, you're live. What am I supposed to say? Huh? <laughs> uh, so we had to pull the front cover off my truck and redo the timing chain. It's a 92 Nissan with a K24E motor. Uh, they have a lot of infamous problems the timing chain slaps right when you first crank the truck up. The timing chain tensioner runs off oil pressure. And when you first turn the truck over and crank it up, oil pressure has not had time to build up yet. The timing chain tensioner does not keep the chain tight enough before the oil pressure builds up. So it slaps around on one of the guides. Eventually, that will bust the guide and cause your chain to rub the motor and the front cover on the inside. So <clears throat> what we're trying to do, I just replaced this timing chain and sprockets and all by the way about 12,000 miles ago. It's already started to slap again so I figured we'd bring it in the shop and go ahead and try to come up with our own homemade fix to get this thing to stop slapping when you first crank the truck up because that's what tears them up. So what we're working on is a spacer on the chain tensioner <clears throat> to keep that from happening when you first crank the truck and that will keep the guides from getting tore up. Show them where the tensioner's at. Tensioner mounts on right here where these two bolts are. Where's the oil? That little hole there is where the oil comes through. Comes through and on the tensioner there's a little hole and then there's a piston and it pushes the piston out which tightens this chain up. You have a tensioner you can show them? Yeah. How it fits in there? Yeah. This is a brand new tensioner that I got from the store. These timing chain kits are almost always under a lifetime warranty so if you have a problem you can take the old one back and you won't get charged how does it fit in there this How'd tensioner against the block fits just like that against the block you have a timing chain guide over here here's where the piston is you pull that pin there's a spring in there it pushes that piston out and then oil pressure pushes that piston on out stronger mm. so it keeps that guide tight against this chain okay but it's that springs just not stout enough so the problem is not the guides the problem is the the spring inside this tensioner and once the oil pressure builds oil pressure maintains the tension but the spring <clears throat> itself is not strong enough on a dry start that's right and that's what messes them and the up. slap is on this side that side you have a guide on this side with a channel, plastic straight, straight channel. Straight guide. Right? Straight guide with a plastic channel. If that channel gets busted off with that slap, it'll rub. See where it's been rubbing right here? Mm -hmm. And you can, and this happens within just uh, just no time. All right, well let's show them what we've done for uh, a modification. For a fix. 